What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So, OTS Tournament Pack 5, it has been leaked, and uh, we don't know everything that is in the set, but we now know a bunch of the cards, including some of the ultimate rares, the super rares, basically a bunch of the full cards. People have been uh, posting pictures on Facebook, then the uh, YG organization posted an article about this, and I just want to kind of talk about some of these picks because I think that they are absolutely excellent, especially just from the competitive meta standpoint. You guys are looking at a picture of the ultimate rare copy of Zodiac Whiptail, which this card looks phenomenal. In fact, if you really are just keep it 100, Konami could have made everything in Zodiac, like literally every monster except maybe Bunny Blast in the Zodiac archetype could have been either like an ultra rare or a secret rare or a super rare or something like that. Zodiac Whiptail definitely deserving because it has been one of those cards that you pretty much play three of and uh, obviously it has been one of the cards that is one of the major reasons for Zodiac success. Uh, next up, we have another ultra ultimate rare let's see uh this is terraforming terraforming looks really good you know what this actually looks like one of those old school like 5d ultimates man these look really really good um i think that this is really good timing i i still i just i can't mention terraforming without the, just giving my opinion i think the card is going to go to probably one by i don't know maybe next january guys i feel like this is one of those times where konami is giving us it at its like highest peak rarity because they know a look, we're going to have to go ahead and limit this thing soon because in November in Circuit Break, we kind of have a trap version of this same exact card. So we're not going to have this at three forever, guys. So here you go. Here's an ultimate rare version. Go ahead, bling your decks out. Play those diagrams and uh, those union hangers and all that good stuff. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, also another ultimate rare card. This one is kind of cool. I don't know if it... There we go. I was waiting for the picture to load. This one is cool because it, it's now in basically all the high rarities. So it came out as a secret rare. Then it got the super rare reprint. Um, isn't this also in gold rare as well? Although I would probably not want the gold rare. And then you now have the ultimate rare. She looks so good and ultimate rare. And it's just, you know, another way for people to be able to get the uh, the copies of Ghost Ogre. I'm going to close this right quick. Obviously, a lot of people play this card. I mean, it's kind of the... The, the fact though most played hand trap in the tcg because maxi obviously is at limited status and people aren't really going back to like effect veilers and whatnot then we have the super rares i'm gonna go ahead and read them off then we'll look at the picture so we have lost win as a super rare that's a dynamite pick uh lost win is the new age version of phoenix chain doesn't stop the attacks but the fact that you can use the effect twice makes this card so nice and you know if you happen to mill it uh somewhere somehow maybe with a, a copy of one of the light sworn cards or if you're playing something like grass or even if you use foolish burial goods really good card disciples of the uh, draco excuse me disciple of the true draco phoenix uh, but i don't see really true dracos going anywhere at least um not for a little bit of time even if we get the same nerves to the deck that they got in the ocg where Diagram and uh, Masterpiece by Masterpiece go, both go to one. I still think it'll be a fairly popular deck. That I still think the Demise version will live on. Maybe the Zodiac version might not see as much play because with one Masterpiece, like I don't really know if there's much of a point there. And the, the Ram Ram plays with uh, Zodi with um, Diagram might not be that like consistent. Zodiac Ram Ram is also super. Rare. This was just this was a a no brainer pick. If there were going to be any Zodiac monsters in here, I think Whiptail and Ram Ram were probably the best bets. Uh, Ram Ram's play has just like skyrocketed over the last few months, and a lot of people consider it one of the better Zodiac monsters. This was the only kind of hit, or excuse me, this was one of the only misses to me. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Um, I don't know about that. I, I still, I feel like the the Ancient Gear stuff just flopped. I mean, it was kind of the structure deck that nobody wanted. Everybody wanted the dinosaur structure deck because it was so much better. But for those of you guys out there who still like ancient gears i mean more power to you i guess it'll probably be one of the lowest value, uh, valued cards in this set Swing of Memories is actually a super rare as well. This one is probably going to be one that I think a lot of people don't like, but I don't know. I feel like it's actually, it's not that bad of a pick. I mean, normal monsters have all, normal monsters are still um, a very much part of a lot of fan favorite decks like Dark Magician, World Chalice has some normal monsters. I mean, personally, I wouldn't play Dark Magician in my, um, in my or I wouldn't play Swing of Memories in my Dark Magician deck, but I mean, if you're going to play it, I'm not going to say it's completely awful. Obviously, there are better ways to get Dark Magician out 
of the graveyard. We have Dogaron. I think any Kaijus are good picks. Obviously, Konami did have Gamma Seal in one of the OTS packs earlier. Uh, earlier. Fairy Tale Sleeper and Fairy Tale Snow. I don't think people really care about Sleeper that much. It's not one of the better Fairy Tale cards. That probably should have went to something else. Uh, another Fairy Tale monster, maybe Luna or something. But Fairy Tale Snow is <laughs> that is definitely people are people are gonna appreciate that. And that's another card that I, I think ultimately is going to end up on the uh, Forbidden and Limited list. Not the Forbidden list, but on the Limited list soon. Fairy Tale Snow still an excellent card, maybe a little too excellent. Uh, True Draco Apocalypse and then Spiral Quick Fix. This is the perfect time for Spir for Spiral Quick Fix to get a rarity bump and uh, obviously with the with the Link Monster Double Helix coming out in the OCG, that coming in Circuit Break, I think a lot of people are going to be chasing after Quick Fix because Quick Fix is a three. It's, it's a three of you run this, you run Machine Duplication, and then you go plus like Infinity. So I think this was a really good pick, and honestly, Konami probably could have put maybe another uh, Spiral card in here as well. Maybe is, is Big Red? I feel like Big Red's like a rare, isn't it? Isn't the Big Red uh, equip card like a rare? Maybe they might put Big Red in the next one because I think that Spirals play by the time that. That, uh, uh, circuit break comes out. I think their play is going to be through the roof. So overall, I think that these are some really good picks. And what do you guys think of them? I think the ultimate rares were really good. Um, would have been nice maybe to see like a trap card. Uh, I think an ultimate rare copy of Lost Winds would have been pretty dope. But, you know, I'll definitely settle for a super rare. And how do you guys like these? Uh, how do you guys like these picks? I think Konami did a really good job, especially with the terraforming, because they got to get it ultimate rare before they have to <laughs> before they have to limit that thing. So whatever you guys thought, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. This video has been brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30 day free trial at audible.com slash mega capital G. Over 180,000 titles to choose from on your mobile device. I'm listening to the amazing I Can't Make This Up by Kevin Hart. Link in the description.